Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. It's time to get back to business. You might remember we uh, we rescued an old beardy motherfucker named Royo. So now we're going to uh, see what the hell he wants. First, we want to uh, get some of this shit out of the way. Oh dear, I should probably make a uh, another bed. Since uh, we now have a bit of a lack of space. First, we can make a Chimera wing. It takes three, um, three feathers and you get three wings, so nice trade-off. Now the Chimera wing will work much like the wing of Wyvern in the um, in the regular game. Basically, you use it and you go right back to the base. Let's get this shit out of the way. Put the bed in and and boom. And as you can see, instantly we're uh, we're back at it. And now that it's morning, Ranko, my friend, I do not mean to cast doubt on your claims, but was it truly you who constructed these buildings? If that were true, it would mean that you have the power to build new things. A gift that mankind lost long ago. Could it be that you are the builder of whom the Kentlin Chronicle speaks? The legendary figure blessed with the power of construction. Ah, of course not. If the Builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Ah, yes, Ronko, I nearly forgot. The patch across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? Well, the Cantlin Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras that dwell amid those mountains. A most convenient contrivance that lets you travel at blinding speed and be back at your base in the blink of an eye. Of course, if you truly were the builder of legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. And again, they remind you that you only need to to get your hands on the materials to figure out what um to get the recipes for things that you need. So basically, they're telling you to um. The goddess is telling us to go and get feathers from Chimeras, but we've already done that. Goddess above, this is a Chimera wing. It is just as the Kentlin Chronicle describes. Then there is no doubt about it. Within you dwells the long-lost power of construction. You really are the builder. Ever since this, the light was lost to us and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Alavgard have awaited for this day to come. The day that Benevolent Rubis would send the Builder to save us. Again, we, they're telling us the same shit again. We got it the first fucking time. Ranko, my friend, you and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Firstly, we must complete the glorious restoration of the once great city of Kentlin. And secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what terrible tragedy brought the town to ruin. This place was once girded all about by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It is even said that a great golem once watched over the city, keeping all inside safe from harm. But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated and nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a rich fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Kentlin, I plan to uncover the mystery of what befell my ill-starred ancestors. No doubt that with your powers and my book, it is only a matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you, Ranko. <laughs> and we have another uh, quest and another bunch of fucking branches. Oh, look! There's that seed of life from before. Not sure how the hell that happened, but I'll take it. 
You know, Ronko, I've been so starving lately I could eat my own head. That would be impressive. Eating your own head would be fucking impressive. All of this building and inventing is hungry work. So, I've been thinking. If we had something to cook with, we could make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you say? Can you think of something you could build to cook things on? If you think of anything, put it in a room with a chest so we can store delicious dishes we make. So, yeah, make us room to cook in. So now we get a cook fire. A simple stand built above a bonfire, used for making mouth-watering meals. Again, piss easy. Let's uh see what we need for our cook fire. We need broken branch, grassy leaves, and a bonfire. So let's make a bonfire. And then we can make our cook fire. And with that, I'm going to show you a trick to uh, to maximize the limited space that you have. See, what you could do is actually build rooms on top of rooms. So what we're going to do is make this uh, this room a tiny bit taller. Let's put a floor here. You want to make the room an extra block tall so that uh, your villagers don't get stuck. Which they sometimes do and it's fucking annoying. Thankfully, they're not insisting on a, uh, on a, uh, on a specific blueprint. So it makes this sort of thing a lot easier to do. Now, what you can do here. Is use your extra blocks. To make a staircase of sorts. So now we have a basic area. Let's uh, put that there. And now we just make an enclosed uh, room two blocks high. Because remember, two blocks is the minimum. Also worth remembering that even if you do make a taller room, only the first two blocks will uh, will count. So if you want to put extra stuff in, like if you're, if you're building a room that needs, say, a wall decoration or something like that, you need to put it on those first two blocks, otherwise it won't count. It's a lot to keep up I know, with, I know. But after a while, you, you do get the hang of it. So now, now we have ourselves a little, uh, a little room that we can put our kitchen in. We'll worry about more, uh... We'll worry about more, uh... More blocks for the roof later. For now, let's make another fucking club, because we're gonna need it. Boy, are we gonna need it. Let's, uh... Make sure that bad boy is equipped. You want to have at least some, some fucking, uh, some fucking clubs at any one time. Let's go back to the used one. 
And the club has fallen apart. So now, since we have fresh clubs, we just move to the next one. Again, I'm, I'm going to mention the, uh, the sequel. And sing its praises some more. Because, thankfully, they, they got rid of this fucking weapon durability nonsense. Which really only serves to get in the way. Let's get some more, uh... More blocks. Dirt. And I forgot to get the door. And the chest. So let's get those two things. Door. And I need broken branches for the chest, so let's get a few more of those. You might be hearing a little, um... A little wind, I... Put my fan on for a little bit just to uh, cool myself down a little. Okay, now we have enough for the chest, so let's go back and do that. One chest, thank you. you know what? Let me turn the fan off for a little bit. I don't want it to get too fucking annoying for you guys. But if I do get hot again, I will be putting it back on. Sorry, not sorry. I just like being comfortable. Put that there. Actually, it's probably not worth it to have more, uh, more stairs there. I'll likely have to adjust that at some point. But for now, this will help us mightily. Jeez. I'd forgotten just how much it takes. Let's put our cook fire there. And our chest here. And now we have a crude kitchen. As you can see, the uh, the characters will hop those steps. Blimey, you did it! You made me a place to cook! Now I'll be able to make all sorts of scrummy food. Thank you, Runko. And that chest is perfect if I make anything really, really tasty. I'll put it there for you to... You so you could try it. I'll put it in there so you could try a bit too. And now we have a couple of plum berries. Now making food is a pretty simple, uh, simple affair. It's just like the workbenches. You just uh, you get your uh, you get your uh, recipes, and you can make stuff. Thankfully, inside your base, anything that's in chests will also be uh, counted as being available. Thanks for finding new friends to come and live in our city, Ronko. Royo must be a really clever man. Silly people. Oh yeah, we already we already read that. Yeah, we already got enough beds for Mr. Royo over here. Grab a few more fucking uh. A few more of these fucking, uh... Fucking blocks. We can at least finish the fucking roof. And... Boom. Done and done. Let me just uh, do that so people can't uh, can't accidentally go up and fall outside the base. The AI is kind of fucked up that way. And let's talk to Mr. Royo. No. Well, well, well. By my bulbous belly. It seems we have a kitchen now. This creative power of yours is a wonderful thing. I wonder if your culinary skills are equally exemplary. 
What say ye test them out and make me something to eat? What? Make it yourself? You build a whole kitchen for Pippa, but she won't even make me a single measly meal? Bronco, you wound me. I thought we were friends. By the way, I should mention that I saw some delicious-looking orange mushrooms growing down by the water's edge. I'm sure you could make a terrific meal out of a fine ingredient like that. Three servings should do the trick. Do we have an agreement, friend? Ronco, my friend, do I detect the succulent scent of freshly roasted mushrooms? The fragrance alone is a mellow melody of mouth-watering flavors. By my growling gizzard, these shall make a magnificent meal. Come now, hand them over. Quick, quick, quick. So you give him the the stupid shrooms, and he fucking eats them. Marvelous work, Ronco. We shall have to rename you the Cooker. <laughs> the Kentlin Chronicle covers a wide range of topics. The chapters concerning the preparation of hearty, healthy meals are of particular... Pardon, you want to see it? Yourself? Kentlin Chronicle? With your own two eyes? I'm sorry, Ronco. But that book is a priceless family heirloom. I can't just go parading it around in front of anyone that asks. And besides, the tome is written in, in an ancient and cryptic script. There's no way that you or anyone else would be able to read it. What little knowledge I myself have gleaned from it has taken years of painstaking study. However, I have not a single doubt that this book holds the key to restoring this city to its former greatness. I shall not rest until I have deciphered each and every one of its secrets. Fear not, my friend. I will not keep these secrets to myself. As soon as I make a breakthrough in my studies, you will be the first to know. And as for these mushrooms, it is only fair that you should taste the fruits of your labors too. Take this, a token of our everlasting friendship. Make three, get one. That's fair. Anyway, let's uh, have that to... Uh, as you can see, it gives us more uh, health than the plumberry. Which is worth remembering. What? Have I finished reading that book yet? Lend some patience, young lady. I made it quite clear that you would be the very first to know of any secrets I uncover. Deciphering the Kentland Chronicle will take time, Ronco. And our work on restoring the city has only just begun. I suggest that while I continue my studies, you labor to rebuild this city to its former greatness. And prove yourself the builder you claim to be. By completing rooms and placing... Now they're telling, now they're telling us what, we, uh, what I mentioned it earlier, is that uh, your, your, city's level your, your, your city level comes up the more you build stuff. And that decorations cannot be above two blocks above the floor because they don't count. So now we have to build a whole bunch of shit. Ron, can you pay attention? Now, can you think of anything we could use to decorate all these new rooms you're about to build? And now we have a pot. So now we need to make the pot. What makes a pot? A pot is earth and blue glue, blue, blue glue, blue goo. Thank you. <clears throat> Make two of those. Now where's... Oh yeah, night time, so... Okay. Okay, the, the objective is to get a uh, higher level. Okay, that that's easy. Well, not really, but... Grab that, put a pot there. And put another pot here. We're going to have to put some more work in. But that's cool. Let's uh break some more shit.
I can tell you one thing, this won't be a, uh, an everyday series for, uh, for the channel. I do still want to focus on, uh, Street Fighter 2. Because I feel that's a very, uh, very important one to get out of the way. And I, you know, also want to finish up a belt action collection, uh, and I want to do some other, you know, more quick play friendly games because this is going to be a very long one and let's be honest, some people are going to find it rather tedious. I get that, trust me. Come on, get the fuck out of the way. You know, I want to primarily do things that I can uh, that I can do in a few parts, and this this game is going to take me a, a fair bit. So don't expect this to be a uh, a series that gets updated too too frequently. Frequently, of course, I'll keep a uh, I'll try to keep a, a steady uh, steady flow of videos, regardless. But, uh, yeah, you're probably going to see a lot more other vi videos, you know, one-shots and things like that. More Neo Geo videos. Uh, I'm thinking of actually making a, uh, making the SG-1000 videos a separate series in and of themselves. Because, uh, because as awesome as the, uh, the Neo Geo is, the SG-1000 is quite awful. In fact, I think that's going to be the name of the series. The SG-1000 is awful. Yeah, that, that's definitely something I'm going to do. But as you can see, I'm trying to make some uh, some space. And it's going to be very hard with not being able to get rid of these fucking... These fucking white blocks. But as the game progresses, we'll, uh, we'll tackle more of these issues. I think I've already mentioned, but it's a very important thing to make the most of the limited space you have when you're uh, when you're building, and a large part of that, I find, is keeping the space level. that so now we can make another building and uh, we're gonna make it uh, let's put it here it'll be uh, it'll be another uh, bedroom of sorts which will help us when it's time to start making private bedrooms Now, unlike before, I'm not going to get all the way to the border of the light. I want to at least have some uh, some room for, for staircases in case I need to start uh, building upwards again. Again, e everything when you're dealing with a space this limited is, uh, is dealing within these tight constraints. Man, doing all this damn talking really dries the throat out. Uh, as you can see, we now have uh, other people building stuff. Which is really helpful. And a pot. So let's uh, use our decorations. Now have a room. Straw mattress. A uh, pot. Let me make a bonfire rather than using the torches. 
And the torches look kind of weird when you just throw them on the um, on the ground. Not sure why you can't put the torches on the wall, but it is what it is, as they say. Alrighty then. Yes, even without without a, a weapon, you can at least get the most basic of shit by punching. Before and the other two, we'll go for the bonfire. Oh wait, uh, let's equip the the newest. Uh, the newest club. Like I said, it, it's such an improvement that they got rid of the fucking, um... Have a room. I don't know why it's called an empty room. You can grab another, uh... Grab another, uh... Another bed. Okay, we need more grass. Some more of that. Yes, yes, yes. We're we're uh, we're we're at um we're doing that, my man. Let's uh make another mattress. I'm gonna move that pot. Put it here by the bonfire instead. Boom. And now we've turned the empty room into a basic bedroom. So basically you need two beds to make a basic bedroom, which is weird, since, uh, I can tell you, my room doesn't have just one fucking, uh, just doesn't have two beds. Barely has space for the fucking one bed I have. So now we have a level two, a level two town. Wonderful work, Ronko. I'm impressed. Not only are you the legendary builder, but it seems your powers are becoming ever greater. And again, they um, we're introducing ourselves to the concept that uh, you don't get stronger through combat. You get stronger by uh, by building up the town. So, your might as a, as a warrior, as this says, is only going to be determined by your weapons and your armor. So, it's, a, it's very important that you keep the, um, the building up, since that's what uh, gives you um, the real strength. I'm sorry to say, though, that I've made scant process progress in deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle. I dare say it will be some time before... By my sensitive ears, did you hear that? And now we have... Another facet of this, uh... Of this game. Invasions. Ugh, I can't wait to get rid of this shit. Ronko, I have most terrible tidings. I know not what has driven them to it, but the monsters plan to attack our great city in force. We must protect Cantlin at all costs. Ranko, you must prepare our defenses against the coming assault. But fear not, I shall fight by your side, my friend. I shall do my duty by protecting dear Pippa and our beloved home from harm. And... And in, in tradition of this game, it repeats what we've just said. Basically, the town... Because the town is so damn important, the monsters are going to try to get it, get it destroyed again, and you've got to stand up to them. Just make sure you have your weapons and your healing creams. Prevail. And so, it's time to go to war.
And here they come. Hey, skeletons. And shit like this. Like this is why you, um... You want to keep your uh, hunger gauge from going down too much. And we're done. Who will your banner of hub grow? Blanketing the land with even more light. But now it seems the location of your base is known to the Dragon Lord's vile vassals. The monsters fear that should the people of Alavgard band together, they will lose their dominion over these lands. No doubt these beasts will launch yet more offensive air offensive air long offensives air long in our in an attempt to crush this beacon of hope. You must protect this village, my child. Whatever it takes, no matter what manner of brutish behemoth assails it. Hmm? You do not know if you are equal to the task. In fact, you do not really understand what this task I have given you is all about. You just want to build things, not fight monsters? At this very moment, that may well be so. But as you come to know more of the people here, you will realize that with great power comes great responsibility. I have done all I can for you. I have done all I can for this benighted land. The rest is up to you, my child. Work together with your new friends and restore the city of Cantlin to its former greatness. I must leave you now. But I know that we shall meet again when your work here is done. Until then, know that I do watch over you always. And now we have tablet fragments. And more light. Although, even though it's called more light, even though it says more light, you can see it... It still ends at the same spot. So it's not really more. It's just, you know, summoning more people. You see, as you can see, we have a new uh, person here. I saw a great shaft of light on the horizon and thought it warranted investigation. Imagine my surprise when I discovered a bustling village. But who are you? And what are you doing in a place like this? I beg your pardon, you're building a city? <laughs> Good luck with that. If you expect people to work together and live in harmony, you've another thing coming. I had to burst your bubble, girl. But there's not a man alive who has the luxury of looking out for anyone but himself. Speaking of which, I'm tired out after that trek. I'll stay here and rest a while if you don't mind. The name's LaRouche. Shan't be staying long, I don't think. But in any case, pleased to make your acquaintance. And now we have this asshole. Fellow named LaRouche. And we have ta blue tab fragments. Let's, uh... Let's build some, some fucking healing cream, since we have all these, uh, all these white petals. Now, in addition to making singles, you can hit the, uh, the square button to make as many as your, um, your materials will allow. So, we now have a bunch of healing creams, which is better than just having the one. Let's, uh, put... This here, this here, uh, this shit can go there, uh, put that there, put that there, we're, uh, we're in a pretty good place. Now uh, we have a, uh, level 2 town, with our first room, well, let's build another room, just to, uh, just to expedite the process, as it were. Keep that there. Uh, 
just uh, put this together and make the roof. Now, since I've uh, put this one not quite so close to the edge, I'll be able to make bigger towers as the necessity presents itself. Now, you can't go up forever, obviously. But you can go up a few levels, which will help in uh, maximizing, again, maximizing the limited space available. So now we have a roof. And we are now... And this is why you want to fucking use the beds at night. In fact, I think I'll do that right fucking now. And now I no longer have to worry about the ghost. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Ranko's mind. <laughs> Beg pardon? The words of the king have slipped thy mind. Forsooth, what manner of hero art thou to forget such a speech? Permit me to regale thee with his majesty's words once more. Ahem. In days of yore, thy re revered ancestor did receive the almighty of the almighty goddess, the Sphere of Light. By its power was our world rid of the menace which did beset it. Yet alas, some few years passed, there did arise a new threat. The Dragon Lord. With his cunning, he did steal away the sphere of light from us, plunging the land into darkness once more. Should the state of affairs be suffered to continue, the night must surely take unrelenting hold and our realm perish. So I say unto thee, vanquish the accursed Dragon Lord and reclaim the sphere of light. All of, all of Alavgard doth place its trust in thee, hero. Fulfill thy destiny, and deliver this land from the darkness. It seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was her own memory or somebody else's, Ranko can't remember. And morning. So now we're back here, building a uh, second, well, a third bedroom, technically. But a second one that can potentially be made into a private bedroom once the time is right. Thankfully, there's no shortage of... Uh, of blocks. So we could just bash the piss out of the uh, the world around us. Boom, 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 boom. should have enough uh, at the very least to get the the minimum two blocks high and now we have our uh <clears throat> two blocks
We just need to decorate it. And of course, put a roof in so we can, uh... Well, we don't have to worry about the roof just yet. That's for when we make the next, uh... The next, um, room in this tower. Okay. And we can't make a straw door. Because we need more fucking branches. Wait. Didn't we, didn't we get branches just now? It can be easy to lose track sometimes, I'll be honest. Thank you, we now have seven branches. Should be more than enough to make a straw door. There it is. One straw door. But we still need for a um, couple of beds. And we'll likely need more sticks for a, uh, for a bonfire. You might wonder why I'm, uh, <clears throat> why I'm building these rooms. When I have more beds than strictly necessary so that when more people come in you're not sitting there scrambling to have a to build space for yourself to sleep at night remember you don't want to deal with the um you don't want to deal with the problem of uh having to deal with uh, invading enemies at night so having a, having a bed always at the ready is is a very big thing for uh for playing this game and there we go <clears throat> now let's build our mattresses we could build two which is exactly what we need thank you and a bonfire and a pot. So let's put our decorations in. Put that there, put that there. Put that there, and put that there. We now have another basic bedroom. Which gives us plenty of, uh... Room for sleeping for now. Brilliant work showing those blighters who's boss, Ronco. But it seems the filthy fiends have found a humble settlement. We have no way of knowing when they might strike next. We must devise some means to keep them at bay. By the way, I noticed that you found a pair of curious stone fragments in the aftermath of the battle. I had seen an artifact of similar design in the Cantlin Chronicle, and, man of action that I am, invest I investigated further. If you were to stick these fragments together again, I believe they would form a device known as a teleportal. Apparently you can just plonk the thing down on the ground and hey presto, it'll whisk you away on a sunbeam to a place where you can find whatever your heart desires. For a builder like yourself, putting together a thing like that should be a piece of cake. Well, Ronko, do you think you can glue that teleportal together again? And now we have the uh, ability to make a blue teleportal. Let's see here. There it is. Our fragments, earth, and goo. And boom, we have the first of three. Each section, each um part of the of the game, each of those um areas that we saw in the beginning menu, they'll each have these teleportals. 
I know at least three of the, these um, sections have three teleportals. I'm not sure. I think Olive Guard might only have two. Don't take my word for it, though. By my baby blue eyes, you've done it, Ronko. You've made a teleportal. Now you can travel to distant, mysterious worlds and back again. In these new and exciting lands, you're sure to find new and exciting materials with which to build new and exciting items. Quickly now, plop that teleportal on the ground and hop through to whatever wonderful destination awaits you. Actually, Ronko, before you head off, there is something I wish to ask of you. Something on which the good of our city and its continued growth may depend. Once you have that teleportal up and running, I beg you, speak with me before you step through it. Now we have more coarse cloth. I'm curious about this. I never tried to put these things outside before. Let's see if that actually works. Hey, cool. A portal to another item open island opens up. And of course, you could take the teleportal off if you want to. But we could just put that outside and uh, it won't interfere with the rest of the um, of the village. Let's roll in. By my athletic physique, the teleportal was activated. That mystical swirling light is positively hypnotic. When a teleportal shines like that, it shows that a path has opened to a place where all your dreams can come true. Ronko, my friend, there is one thing I wish to ask of you before you pass through that glimmering veil. I ask that you find out how to build that most mighty of tools, the giant mallet. The Kentland Chronicle describes the giant mallet as a fearsome hammer, strong enough to break huge boulders and fell great trees. Rocks and wood aside, you are bound to find a veritable bounty of new materials wherever this teleportal takes you. And with new materials come ideas for new items. Items we can use to make our city even bigger and better. The monsters known as Hammerhoods carry these giant mallets everywhere they go. I'm sure that they could tell you how to build one. Once you have learnt the recipe, waste no time. Build one straight away and show it to me. So it's time to go. And here we are, New Island. And hey, look. There's an ancient sheet of paper lying at the bottom of the chest. Runko carefully unfolds the note and begins to read it. Okay, the blue navigal set it from the other ground. Okay, you can use these to uh, to mark a place on your compass. So you could just uh, like if you want to, if you found some cool materials, or if you just want to have like a home away from home kind of base, you can use these to to mark the way, and you won't lose your shit. Very handy, and each of these islands will have a um, one of these um, these markers. To whoever readeth this message, may Rubus watch over thee in all thine adventures. Hey, it's Sir Reginald Augustus Granas. Grains again. Grab that. Where's Blue Nevergold? Neverglobe. So let's get to work. Yeah. Now we have orange oil, which can help us make wayfarer clothes. And magic dye. Now we have a clump of fur, which will help us with making leather armor and leather shielding. Hamilton Heights Visitor Center. Strike, strike, strike me down. It's a human. Yes. Yes, it is. What do you think you're doing barging in here like you own the place? You got a lot of nerve, you know. Well, no harm done, I suppose. To be honest, I don't really have anything against humans. So what do you want? 
What? You want to take a look at my tool? But, but, but we've only just met. Not that tool. Oh, you're talking about this hammer. If you want to know how to make a giant mallet, clobber, clobberina's the hammer hood to ask. She shouldn't be too hard to find. There's a bonfire on the roof of her house, so just look for that. Here, human, take, take, take this. Consider it a sign of our newfound friendship. We have a signpost. Because, you know, that's necessary. Kind of rude for a visitor center, I think. And there's a, uh, a little like a bonfire. It's more like a brazier. But it's worth checking out. Let me get some blocks. I might need them. In fact, I'm quite certain I'll need them. And hey, look, there's ore of some type. We can't get it because we don't have the mallet. But we'll get there. Now, though, let's figure out how the hell we get up here. Da, 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 da. Hey, look, we have a mason bench. Which is kind of nice. We need cord, though, which, uh, we don't have any of that yet. We can get that, though, by using ivy. Remember, everything links together. You get, you get stuff, you get this, you get that. It helps you make other crap. So now we have straw floor. Which is a new kind of a uh, building block. Which requires grassy leaves and cord. Which will create ten blocks, which is a good thing. So now we have... Hmm, we're going to have to use the Wayfarer clothes for now because there's no way to get copper yet. And that's in the equipment bag, so equip. As you can see, much like um, much like your weapons, armor also has durability. So that will have to be replaced periodically, though obviously not as uh, not as frequently as the uh, as the weapons. Well, not if you're doing it right, anyway. Well, bless my soul, if it isn't a little human. I'm Clobberina, the Head Hammerhood. I suppose you might call me the Hammerhead. What might a poor, beleaguered human want with me? Mercy me, you want to know how we make our giant mallets? I'm sorry, my dear, I know it must be a hard thing being a human, but you won't turn into a Hammerhood that easily. And besides, these hammers are our most precious treasure. The recipe is a closely guarded secret. It wouldn't be right to tell every Tom, 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 Dick, and Harriet how to make them. Come now, dearie, don't be like that. As you see, she's, uh, putting on a cry show. Perhaps there's some way we could... Oh, I know. My roof has got three great big holes in it. The wind comes right through and it plays havoc with my old bones. And don't get me started on the rain. I get soaked to the skin. I'll catch, catch, catch my death one of these days, I'll tell you. A few block, block, blocks of straw floor would plug those holes up. I'd do it myself, but I'm not as young as I once was. How about it? Think you can fix my roof? You can use ivy around here to make the cord. You'll need to bundle up the straw into blocks. Once you've built some straw floor blocks... Just pop them in the holes. If you did fix up my roof for me, I'd be ever so grateful. I might even show you how to make a giant mallet like mine. So it needs to be with, uh, with straw. With straw blocks. 
fine by me. Let's get some, uh, some grass. It's going to be very necessary. First pot of butter beans, which gives us the boiled butter bean recipe. And more food is always a good thing. As you can see, these hammer hoods hit like a damn truck. And since we don't level up through combat... It's not really worth risking our lives. Get the fuck away from me, guys. Whew. Yeah, the night can be quite, uh, quite threatening, as it were. But hey, look what we found. Lots of grass. Get that shit. Snatch that up. To be honest, you can never really have enough. And boom. Item bag is now full, so that's a problem. Um well, we can use these uh use these blocks here. use these blocks to climb as best we need to. Uh, where's the blocks? Boom. There we go. Now let's go back to uh, our regularly our regularly uh, scheduled construction. There it is. Here's a place with a well. It's pretty cool. And we are uh, coming up against the morning. A whooping needle. Which helps us make a cute, um, cute bit of decoration. And now we can, uh, we can make our straw blocks. Hmm. We're going to have to figure out where the hell I'm going to place the shits, though. Sorry about that. Let's put this signpost here. No real need for it. And now we can build some straw floors. 30 straw blocks. And now... A covering that adds class to any earthen floor. Oh, cool. We'll, uh... Look at that later on. For now, though... Let's do this. And the roof is now repaired. Let's make a couple of straw floorings. One. And two. My word, you fixed my roof. And what a wonderful job you've done, too. I didn't think you had it in you. Hold on a minute. A human with the power to b b build things. To build, build, build things out of nothing. Don't tell me you're the legendary builder. Oh my, would you listen to me getting all excited? Don't worry, dearie, your secret's safe with me. You humans were once so powerful, but now there's hardly anything left of you. Meanwhile, us monsters grow stronger by the day. Truth be told, I can't say I'm happy with this arrangement. I think, 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 this world could do with a bit of balance. Now, 
that's not to say I want to see the whole world crawling with humans, but it'd be a real shame if you all died out. All right, I'll help you. But this is just between you and me, dearie. Wouldn't want the Dragon Lord finding out now, would we? First things first, let me show you how to build, build, build a giant mallet. And now we have the giant mallet recipe. Attack plus eight. Listen, I'll tell you all about the basics of being a build, build, builder. Now, do I have a habit of nattering on a bit? Now, I do have a bit of habit of nattering on a bit. Once I got, I've got started, there's no stopping me. What do you say, dearie? You have the time to listen to an old gas, gas, gas bag like me? You do? Oh, bless your heart. First of all, let me tell you about the giant mallet, the most prized possession of every hammerhood. With just a few swings of a giant mallet, you could chop, chop, chop trees into chunks and reduce rocks to rubble. And there's ever so many things to be made from wood and stone. I'm sure a clever cook -co cookie like yourself could come up with all sorts of ideas. You can even use a giant mallet to dig up the metals and minerals you'll find up in, the, up in the mountains or down in the caves. There's copper, coal, and iron, and all sorts of wonderful materials buried out there. And they all have their uses. So take your giant mallet in hand and start smash, smash, smashing all the things you couldn't smash before. It's just the kind of thing a builder needs, don't you think? That said, our hammers might be a little heavy for a human. I'd imagine you'd find them awkward to swing about in the middle of a fight. But don't let that stop you, dearie. If you want to give someone a good biff biff biffing with your giant mallet, go right ahead. I just think you'll find it more useful for gathering materials, that's all. Let's see what's next. I know. Right, all right, now pay attention. This bit is important, but it's a bit more complicated. You can use some materials to make new materials. These materials don't do anything on their own, but they can be used to build different things. When you patched up, when you patched up my roof for me, and what a lovely job you did too. You didn't notice you don't didn't know how to build blocks of straw floor at first. You cut 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 down some ivy and learned how to make cord. But it was only when you made the cord that you worked out how to build the straw floor blocks. Now, when you've built yourself a giant mallet, I'm sure you're gonna run into run around smash smash smashing things up. You're gonna find yourself with trees and rocks and copper and coal and all sorts of different materials. But you can't build everything out of lumber and ore. You'll have to take them back to your workstation and process them first. Also, um, I suppose that's everything I wanted to say, really. Now that you were listening, you were fast asleep just now, weren't you? I warned you before we started that I have a habit of prattling on. Well, never mind. You're the builder, after all. If anyone can work out for themselves how to handle a giant mallet, you can. Well... I'll admit I, I kind of I kind of walked into that one. Can't really blame uh can't really blame the game for that uh detour as it were. And there's our giant mallet. Let's see. The club is a five attack, and the mallet is eight. So yeah, I'm gonna be uh putting in some giant mallets. That's really shit. Okay, now let's... No. Go to equipment. Put two of these uh, mallets in place. And as said, the, uh, the mallets can be used to gather materials from things that you couldn't gather materials from before. Shit, I gotta get rid of more of this crap. Let's, uh, do that right quick. This excess ivy isn't really needed. At least not right now. Put those away. There. Let's get these rocks. And we now have another bit of, a uh, weaponry. A stone sword. And a stone table, which can be used to sit on. 
Stone stool. Well, you can't sit on the table. You sit on the stool. Put shit on the table. And steps. And the workstation. Anything else? Well, that was uh, quite verbose, as it were. Bitch. Yes, yes, I know the fucking bag is full. Let's use the Camaro wing to get the fuck out of here. Fly back to base. And we're back. Now, where is Mr. Rolo? Ah, oh, he's in the, um... In the workshop. By my knobbly knuckles! Ronco, you've done it! You've built a giant mallet! With a hammer like that, you can smash up all sorts of things that you couldn't smash up before. Why just look around here? There are trees and rocks. And through the blue teleportal, there's said to be copper and coal in abundance. Once a clever lass like you gets her hands on materials like that, well, there's no end to what you might invent. And just think, when you build your new inventions, you might be able to dream up recipes for even more exciting items. Go on, Runko. Head out into the world and swing that mallet around like there's no tomorrow. Smash up everything you see and pick up all the materials you haven't been able to collect so far. And if you work out how to build new things, waste no time. Build them straight away. To begin with, why don't you try chopping down one of these nearby trees? Hey, look, we get more fucking Camaro wings. Looks like he's not quite as fucking useless after all. So now we can use the... Boom. Unfortunately, it only seems to work for the flooring. Which is actually kind of shit. You know, I'd like to be able to put this on the walls. However, no such luck. Basically, if I if I want to make this a uh, a tower of straw blocks, I'd have to break down these uh, these blocks that way. And as you can see, this will get fucking annoying. As it keeps telling you, the room is destroyed, the and then you build the room. Like, fuck, you know? Let me, let me just fucking put shit on. Oh, at least we stopped that from happening there. Grab that real quick. Um, yeah, these corners are going to be difficult. Yes, 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 I fucking know. Boy, do I ever know. You know what? I'm gonna wait until the time to build another thing. Do another set of towers and, you know... And break shit like that. So, Rancho, are you get it? gathering all sorts of new and wonderful useful materials? You must be building up a sizable stockpile of all the amazing things you found. And if you haven't yet, well, it's only a matter of time. Either way, you're going to need somewhere to store it all before it gets out of hand. I can only imagine how very vexing it is. It must be to go to pick up tantalizing new item and find your hands are full. Well, never fear, Ranko. But as you toil endlessly to gather materials, so too am I hard at work. I've been poring over the Kentlin Chronicle, you see. 
and have deciphered that means to construct something called the Colossal Coffer. If it's as remarkable a repository as the book describes, it will make gathering and collecting materials a breeze. Ranko, if I show you how to build to make the Colossal Coffer, will you build one for me? I want to see the fruits of my studies with my own two eyes. And there it is, a Colossal Coffer. Good, now I can get this shit out of the way. Get that. Break some of that. As you can see, the blocks will uh, float like Minecraft if they're uh, taken from their moorings instead of just falling. That. Hey, cool, a stone wall block. Anyway, now is the time to see if I can build that damn uh, colossal coffer. Let's see, Colossal Coffer requires eight wood, three fur, and a pot. So we're gonna have to put some of this shit away. So let's get some wood, fur, see that again? Wood, fur, and pot. I'm gonna do it. We could go through the portal and find all of that stuff. Which is a good thing. Though it might take us a while to find a uh it probably won't take us too much time to find another tree. Let's Back there, they're not wrong about the uh, the mallet being hella awkward. Well, shit. Hey, look, we got coal, which gives us the ability to make brassiers. Copper. Which gives us the ability to make copper ingots. And now we have the ability to build a forge. Which will, uh... Which will prove invaluable in processing this... All this ore that we find. For now, though... We should probably focus on wood and fur. And what better place to get wood than by banging the piss out of a tree? Of course, you can use the, uh, the lumber straight away to make your houses, but you can also use wood for that purpose and have different type of blocks. Boom. Room built. Which means we don't have to deal with the nighttime bullshit. Which is always nice. Hey, look. Another uh, Mason workstation. Looks like someone tried to do the whole building thing and got and just crapped out. Actually, wait a minute. I've got all these uh, lumbers. Let's see if we can make some wood. Make as many as possible. So four lumbers for four woods. Now we can make some more furniture. Balloon door. Let's get some more, shall we? Room 
recipe calls for eight, so... So we need just a bit more. Hey, cool, a sapling. Those, of course, will help us with uh, building trees. Which is kind of important when uh, given the amount of wood we'll be, uh, we'll be taking. Anyway, let's get back home, shall we? Actually, no, we still need a little more fur. Let's find some fucking hammerheads. Here, homeboy. It's two, I think it was three, so... I'm gonna get a little more just to make sure. Okay, these guys are proven to be fucking annoying. And a leather sack, just straight up. Anyway, we have five. That's definitely more than enough. And with that, we can get the hell on. Come on. Gonna need food. The uh, the hunger gauge is uh, nearing its uh, its end. For now, though, let's focus on the coffer. <sighs> the more, uh, wait, build all possible. So now we have our eight woods. Oh, come on. Wait, three? Oh, good. I, it's required three hold. Okay. Okay, I just gotta make the pot. I forgot about that. No, uh, colossal coffer. And there it is. Now we just gotta put it somewhere. Thing is, when they called it the colossal coffer, they weren't fucking lying. So, yeah, we're gonna have to, um, put it somewhere. Ah, uh, but where, though? Let me put it here. Hmm. That'll give us room for a wall when the time is right. And as you can see, the colossal coffer gives us a hell of a lot more room. Go back to Rolo. By my bulging biceps, you've done it, Ronco. You've built the colossal coffer. With that coffer placed within the boundaries of this great town, you no longer have to worry about running out of room when you're out and about. When your item bag is full, this marvelous magical chest will whisk anything you can't carry back to your base and store it for you. And what's more, you can access the colossal coffer and all of the items inside it from anywhere in the whole wide world. Do you know what this means, Trunko? You can go out into the wilderness and gather materials to your heart's content. Speaking of gathering materials, have you collected any of the copper, coal, or stone from the home of the Hammerheads yet? The Kentlin Chronicle describes these substances at length. It seems that if we had a forge, we could use them to smith metal items. Needless to say, you should be sure to seek those substances out without delay. Now that you've got both the mallet and the coffer, it's time to dive into the caves beneath Hammerton Heights and see what you can dig up. And that's another quest done, and with that in mind, we are going to, uh... We're gonna put this one to bed, at least for now. 
We've already well gone past the hour. So let's uh give it a save. Yes. Of course we're gonna uh keep the party going, as it were. Um I'd like to thank you all for coming to party with us today. Well, me, I mean. Um as always, it's an enormous honor to uh to have you by the by the channel. Well, by the channel. Ha have you at the channel, I'm sorry. Um be sure to let me know what you think. Tell your friends about the channel. But most importantly, to have a great day. And I, and I really mean that. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy yourselves out there. And God bless you.